Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to use the new Gunbot version 5, uh, new GUI. Many of you guys may have been using 3.3.2 with the GUI that was previously the most stable version, and sort of still is, I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, but uh, version 5 does have a GUI, and uh, I will be telling you guys how to use that in this video. This is the free GUI. Uh, the last video I made about the uh, paid GUI is not made by Gunther, that's made by someone else, but I would recommend that, so if you guys want to check out that video, you can go ahead and uh, look for it on my channel. But anyways, let's get into the video uh, on how to set up the free GUI. So first off here, once you are in the uh, Gunbot folder, is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the path name, the path for the file. Uh, for the folder that gun, your gunbot is in. So for example, my gunbot is in this uh, gunbot version 5 folder. So what I'm going to want to do is click on the folder that uh, gunbot is in, click copy path, and then I'm going to want to head over to command prompt. You can uh, open that uh, with the search bar down here. Once you open up command prompt, you're going to want to type in cd space and then control v uh, you're gonna want to cop. You're gonna want to paste uh, the path that you copied. So there you go. Pasted it. Hit enter. For you, it'll work. The only reason why it didn't show for me is because I have to change drives. But there you go. Uh, this is what yours is going to look like once you uh, paste the path in. Now, once you get your path here, you're going to want to install Node.js on your computer. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, for installing Node. Uh, this is just something that the new GUI is going to run off of. Uh, but anyways, I'll leave in the description uh, for the download link to that. And it's just a simple way to download it. Once you go ahead and download it, uh, while you're in your folder here, make sure you are in your folder. You're going to want to type in NP npm space install and then hit enter. Then you're just going to want to wait a few seconds or a few minutes until it installs everything you need into the folder in order for the GUI to work. Uh, you don't have to do anything extra, extra after you download the node uh, file. All you have to do is this. Um, and anyways, once it uh, go once it's done, it should look something like this. You know, it does all the loading, and then you're going to want to type in node space app.js hit enter you should get uh, some message like this and then you're going to want to get this link which I will leave in the description and you're going to want to copy it paste it into your browser hit enter and then you should see the new gunbot GUI once again this is the free GUI there's a paid GUI that I showed in my previous video uh, but this is what it'll look like and uh, up here you have two buttons, you have the viewer and the configurator, so you can go over to configurator, and this is where you pretty much just see all your settings. Uh, I mean, it's slightly easier to configure than looking at the config file, but I still do recommend that you know how to edit the config file uh, before using this, just because it'll make it easier uh, to look around. Uh, I guess the only real thing that it changes on here is this little button to add overrides, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but anyways, so pretty much on the GUI, what you can do here is you can select your exchange, your pair, uh, depending on your exchange. So if I chose Bittrex and I was trading uh, Litecoin, it would be able to tell you some information. Uh, and obviously you can start and stop Gunbot from up here with this button. You can also view your trading history, uh, you know, for a specific pair. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about uh, before I end this video is I am also a new uh, thing that I will be pretty much selling on Telegram, which is a program that you can run on your computer, you put in the Gunbot folder, and uh, it will pretty much update your config to my config whenever I uh, save mine. So pretty much you won't have to do any work, and you know, any config that I put in and I'm using, you will automatically get updated and it will start using on your Gunbot. Uh, there are a few options that you can edit. You can edit the trading limit, the stop loss, uh, and I th and I think that's it. Uh, so pretty much once you edit your trading limit and your stop loss, uh, it will add that to all your pairs and also your API key and secret, of course, to uh, your config. 
and then it'll start running uh, the config that I'm using. Obviously, contact me on Telegram if you're interested in that. If not, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.